Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install NetHunter on Google Pixel 4a. Before starting the procedure, I would like to give a huge thanks to Verbus for making the NetHunter kernel for this device. He released the kernel in XDA forum named as a Linux NetHunter kernel. And if your device doesn't support NetHunter, you can request him to compile the kernel for your device. I will provide the telegram link of his group in the description box. Let's start the procedure. This kernel will work on Android 12.1 and the kernel is based on stock sources. So you don't need to flash any custom ROM. Being compiled on stock sources, this kernel works on stock ROM. First thing first, your Pixel 4a bootloader has to be unlocked and you need to root your device. If you need a guide to root your device, click on the i button on upper right corner to watch the video. Since there is no TWRP is available for Pixel 4a, we have to use FK Manager app to flash the kernel. Open the FK Manager, grant root access, scroll down to check the current kernel name and version. My current uh, kernel version is 4.14. You have to download the Linux NetHunter.zip and after that go to Flasher then tap on Manual Flasher and after that select the Linux NetHunter.zip that you have downloaded here is the zip file okay now choose the flash and reboot option after rebooting the device go to fk manager again and scroll down and you will see the kernel name is changed that means the kernel is flashed successfully as you can see here the kernel version is same but the name is a linux netunter 1.1 so after flashing the kernel you have to install netunter store After opening the NetHunter store, we have to install two apps. One is NetHunter and another one is NetHunter Terminal. So after finishing the installation of NetHunter app, don't open it. If you open the NetHunter app, it will force close because NetHunter app has some permission issues regarding Android 12. So we'll fix that later but before that we have to install the NetHunter terminal. Okay, terminal is installed now. Now to fix the NetHunter force close issue, you have to copy some permission. After copying it, uh, go to NetHunter terminal app that you have installed earlier and select the android su option and you have to grant the super user permission and now paste the all permission that you have copied earlier and hit enter okay now we can close it 
and now you can open the Night Hunter app. Grant the permission. Now swipe from the left side and go to Kali CH root manager. And here if you tap on install Kali CH root, you can download the latest uh, Kali CH root archive from official site. But I will suggest you to download the offline CH root package. So in future if something goes wrong, you don't have to download the CH root package again. So in my link you will find uh, two versions of ch root one is 32 bit minimal in size and another one is uh, full 64 bit version so here i'm going to use the 64 bit full archive from my sd card so i will select the restore from local storage option now you have to uh, paste the full path where is your uh, KaliFS archive in my case I will go to uh, ES Explorer and in the root directory here is my uh, Kali ARM64 full tarxz archive file I will go to properties and copy the full path and go back to the Kali CH root manager and delete it and paste the full path and click on ok now it is installing the sage root it will take more than 20 minutes so i'm going to fast forward it okay sage root is installed now I forgot to tell you something that while installing in the CH root make sure that you keep your device screen turned on because sometimes Android 12 kills the Kali NetHunter app. Now let's start the Kali CH root and it is running. Also let's check the NetHunter shell choose Kali. this is running perfectly okay close it now in the last step we have to install wireless driver that is a magisk module go to magisk and go to modules and install wireless firmware you will find all the files link in my description so you don't need to waste your time by searching it on google i have already installed it so after installing it you have to reboot now i am going to show you that the monitor mode on external adapter is also working to enable monitor mode go to nethunter app um, then go to uh, custom commands scroll down and here you will see in the last command that is start wlan1 in monitor mode but keep in mind that the external wi-fi is on wlan2 so we have to modify it long tap on it and replace the one with two also in comments click on ok so now we can run it here the adapter light is turned on and running smoothly this kernel also supports uh, HID interface and other features Read the mentioned uh, thread in description to check out more features that is included inside the kernel. So that's it. Enjoy your NetHunter 
and if you get into any problem feel free to join my telegram group i will try my best to guide you there and at the end i want to remind you something that is subscribe me for more